This is Phil Bell from FreedomWorks on the Daily Mojo with your morning update. Let's talk about the airline America loves to hate, Spirit Airlines. Now, back in 2022, they proposed to merge with JetBlue, but a lot of airline industry analysts said, I don't think this will happen because the Biden Department of Justice won't let it. Well, sure enough, in 2023, the Biden DOJ took a few minutes away from its obsession with President Trump to block the Spirit Airlines JetBlue merger. And what do you know? JetBlue, of course, walked away, but now Spirit Airlines is staring down the barrel of a gun called bankruptcy because in 2022, they lost more than $500 million. In 2023, they lost more than $400 million. And during the first quarter of 2024, they lost over $100 million. Now, remember this when you read that the Biden Department of Justice thought that a merger between JetBlue and Spirit would lead to the loss of low-cost airline seats. Well, guess what? A bankruptcy of Spirit will lead to the loss of low-cost airline seats. It'll also lead to the loss of jobs. It'll also lead to the loss of opportunity. And not to mention a lot of crazy videos on the internet of the people who fly on Spirit Airlines. But this underscores an important point. You see, we as individuals are the only consumer watchdogs out there. We can't depend on the Department of Justice. We can't depend on the Federal Trade Commission, nor should we try to. Because when we as individuals operating in a free marketplace make a determination about a product, whether it's overpriced or underpriced, whether it's good or bad or otherwise, we make the best decision for us. And we are the only people capable of doing that. When anybody else, whether it's the DOJ, FTC, or otherwise tries to get involved, the results are usually catastrophic, and it almost always ends up hurting us, as well as the people who are either employed or invested in those industries. So it's important that we continue to push back on them and let them know that not only are their services as consumer watchdogs not needed, but that they're also unwanted. And the best way to do that is go to freedomworks.org and join our freedom teams. There we will keep you abreast of the ways that they operate and what is coming down the pike so that you can push back and make sure to put them back in their place, which quite frankly is not trying to look out for our money. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's Morning Update is only on the DailyMojo.com.